Hello everyone and welcome to Plus Equal. And we are here for another tutorial about Unreal Engine, an introduction to materials. Today we will be adding some textures to our basic material that we created in the previous lesson. So let's begin. In the last video we created this object here with our called first material and I will open up the material by double clicking on it. We just input a base color, a metallic and a roughness value. And today we'll be adding to this some texture. So let's go to the other tab and in starter content we should have a folder called textures. Just let's go in. Let's find the let's find the wood texture at the bottom of this this list. So we have the wood pine texture itself and we have the normal. If you are not familiar with the normal map, well, you will be in a second. <laughs> so let's just grab this, these two into our material graph here. They will load in a second, but we can see already here in the preview what they are. Okay, they already loaded. So we have here our texture of the wood and its normal map. If you click here and you double click in the texture, you will open up another tab. I will put it side by side to the material. And you can see what's going on with this texture. If you select view here on the left, you can see that there is four channels, actually five, but we will not talk about the saturation. We have the red, green, blue and alpha channel. And if if you deselect, you can see that this is the information of red that the texture have. This is the green information, the blue information. All these channels have information about how the texture will look. Now we can just replace this in the base color. If you alt click this, the connection will disappear. I will show you again. You press alt, click on the click on this wire and Boom, it will disappear. We can also we can delete this here. We pick the RGB value, put it into the base color, and we see that our, our material now is a really shining wood. We can apply this and go check in game how, how it looks. That is shaders compiling. And now we have a material that looks like a really shining wood. <laughs> so in, to create a basic material with a texture is, a, is this simple. We'll give it a little toggle here in the options. So the base color now have this here. We can pass to the metallic. If you remember in the previous videos we talked about the metallic, you should ask yourself, in this case, is the wood made of metal? The answer is no. I mean, if you say that the wood is made of metal, I have bad news for you. So we'll, we'll let this with zero. Now let's go to the normal map. We can grab this here and put it into the normal. And just this connection will give uh, our, our material a new sense of deep inside the, the wood. The normal map fills the information where is bumps and holes in our, in our texture to give, we, give it a more realistic approach. I already applied, I'll go here and now I can see that my material looks a little better and that for example there in the middle is not so shiny but in the other parts it have some some reflection of the light so now the wood looks a little bit more real now what we can do with the roughness is we can create a, a LURP also known as linear interpolate and we will replace this node right here so I'll click ALT and if I want to delete this, I can always clean clean up here. That will take what is not connected uh, in the nodes. I will grab the alpha channel here of this texture. I will drop it here. And this is uh, another method to create uh, a node. I will write LURP, linear interpolate. And what this does is take two values and interpolate between them. So we can adjust our value here. Let's just drag this into roughness. 
we will deselect this node because it's not what we want. We want this to be the part of the alpha. And we want to have this constant A and constant B to be possible to edit. So we'll give it uh, like 0 0.7 and could be 0 0.5. And now our wood don't look so, so bright. Don't look that uh, like someone was cleaning the wood <laughs> with a lot of intensity. If, you to, if I go to the material, we don't have that uh, reflection of light now, but the wood still looks good. So I decrease the value a little bit. I put input uh, 0 0.3. And now you can see that uh, there is a kind of reflection going around. And you can see that the light reflects where it seems to be the surface and deep into the holes of the wood is still black. And that is uh, the effect of the normal map. The wood, the wood actually looks good. We just can use another node to, to make it even look better. So what we will, what we will create now, we'll right click, we will input texture coordinate. And this will this will allow us to to set the tiling of, of our texture. I don't know if you are familiar with this, but you will see in a second, and you will understand very easily what this means. We will just input this into the UV in in both sides because we want to the texture and normal map to match the same size, and that's what we this will do. For example, if I put two here instead of one. This will double the, the size of the texture. So the texture su should have a lot of more detail now. You can see that the wood now seems even more detailed. And that's what UV tiling is for. For example, if I input here something like dot tree, dot tree, and I apply, probably this will look really bad because, because the texture will feel like it's expanded. As you can see, the texture here looks like it's a lot bigger than the object itself. So you need to control this. And for that, we use the texture tiling. I think that 1.5 will do, will do for our object. Actually, I find 1.5 to be a good amount of, of tiling. I like the result with 1.5. It seems a, a realistic approach to this material at, in this object. So I'll stick with it. I hope you guys learned something new with this tutorial. We still have a lot, of, a lot to cover, but I will, I will be seeing you guys in a short amount of time. So until there, stay safe. And thank you a lot for watching my videos. Really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much and see you next time.